So a lot of my friends and family, particular in Jamaica, asking me what is my experience being in Canada because um, they want to make the transition. Now, this video is not to discourage anybody from coming to Canada. If you feel like Canada is a place that you want to come and live and, you know, start your family, feel free. Don't let this discourage you. But I want to share the realities of Canada. I've been here for the last almost six years and Canada has been it's different from co from after covid canada has changed significantly in in a number of areas and i'll speak to some of the areas that i think canada changed a lot in when it comes on to taxes canada i think have one of the highest taxes in the world so the, so the more money you earn the more tax you pay in canada it's like the higher you climb is the higher the government take money out of your pay so you're paying as I, I'm, I'm up to 47 percent of your income in canada that goes to tax so it's very 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 um tax heavy in canada the other thing that i noticed in canada is that after covid the price of food went right through the doors like literally you can go to supermarket with a hundred canadian dollar and you spend you come out back with absolutely nothing just two probably if, if you get two bags with a hundred dollar you get a lot food over the last two years particularly three years skyrocket high the cost of living versus what you're getting for your pay what you're getting for for um to buy for food absolutely ridiculous um the other thing is rent no canada have this so before covid you could get a two bedroom for like 1100 canadian dollars 1200 dollars now after covid the same apartment the apartment that i live on i got my apartment before covid so i got in a, a very comfortable rate for a two bedroom apartment now i have some friends who moved from jamaica and there are some vacancies on this apartment and they live here and they're paying 1800 dollars for the same two bedroom and when they move the landlord charging 2200 dollars for the same uh two bedroom so rent in canada it's very 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 expensive when you talk about the health care now canada have free health care because they, they they use the taxes that we pay to provide free health free health care but when you go to the hospital is that it's no different from uh, an underdeveloped country where you're waiting hours and hours and hours and hours and hours like literally waiting for eight hours you go to the hospital from 7 a.m in the morning you're not getting through and i kid you not you're not getting through until around maybe four or five o'clock in the evening that's when you actually get to see a doctor because there is a shortage in the healthcare workers there is no uh, there is no doctor and you can't go to a private doctor you can't say all right you have your money so you're gonna go to a private doctor canada not deal with private doctor the rich the poor everybody goes to one as one hospital furthermore you can't even get a you can't even get a a, a, a family doctor there's a there's a six months waiting list to even get a family doctor here in canada the other challenge with the reality of canada is honestly canada boring canada boring there is nothing to do um it's good when you have like your own community that you can have that level of um culture you know you have your jamaican community you have the the other ethnic groups who have their community 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 is big if you don't have a community in canada man canada is boring and i have nothing to do so i'm grateful that here we farm a nice little um, community where people can display culture you can talk your language you can cook your food and you just feel jamaican without that being present canada boring so a lot of people just work in canada and save their money so that they can travel to different countries that's what i've been doing over the last couple of years like like me i can't stay 12 months in canada it's it, it not possible it not possible yeah so at the end of the day um canada is still good in in some instances where you know the crime and violence is not as bad um they have good gun laws but 
overall if you're not a strong person if you don't have community and you don't have the support canada is very very depressing and grateful to be here and i'm not discouraging anybody from coming you can come and you may find it to be to be good the other thing is i want to mention is that with this current government what they're doing they're reversing a number of the immigration programs that they had um, for people to get easy access in canada so a lot of temporary residents um a lot of people going back to their countries a lot of trust me if you do the research right now a lot of people going back to their countries because people just cannot afford to live in canada anymore or the the government make it so difficult for persons now to obtain permanent residence in this country but still grateful to be here but i just wish things will change soon that's just my reality of canada what's up guys so when people hear them type of video yeah them feel say i yeah, discourage them from go foreign but listen my man, you have some person who leave them good good job at Jamaica and leave go foreign for you have a better life. And you see when them reach and reality kick in and them start struggle, them say if they did know. You understand me I say, but puss and dog now have the same looking you know, at guys car. Me might struggle at foreign and you no struggle. So I never try to discourage nobody yet. But sometimes when I hear a man come out and I say certain things, we don't need to listen and learn from it. So when you reach a foreign you know, people, you know, and people you're in a circle and you know where I go to. Just the other day, me and one bridging a reason. He did live in Canada and he moved gone back in the United States. You understand? And the man has said, Conroy, I have to move from Canada because the cars are living gone sky high. See? The man said, Conroy, look how long I'm in Canada. And I can't really put myself together as though I want it. You understand? And right now, the man there in the US right now, and the man said, Conroy, I do good. You know, some hear a lot of personal complaints about the cost of living in Canada high. You think it easy for you to work at one place and you work at least a thousand dollars for the week. And you have to pay back at least four hundred dollars in a tax. Brother, it's hard for you to survive this. Up. But if anybody live in Canada and I watch the video ya, and I know how the thing set, just jump in at the comment section and let me know where I go in Canada because trust me. I can't live at them places where I have to pay so much in a tax. I don't have to have nothing. Them places they have a person who retire and have much millions of dollars. Boy, Canada, no disrespect to Canada, but a little poor man like me hard to live in Canada. Because I leave me, I leave my country to go to Canada to have a better life. See? And if I go choose a country where when I decide I go pay back all of my money in a tax, trust me. Canada is not my first destination. Sorry. But for all who they are Canada and survive and start out them bills, you know, big up on yourself, you understand? So guys, have a blessed day. I'm out.